Hey guys, what's going on? This is Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training and in today's video, I wanted to share with you three of my favorite drills to ultimately help you improve your throwing velocity. So let's just jump right into the very first one. It's skaters. You've probably done this before. If you haven't, it's a fun little drill and the cool part about it is you can do it anywhere. You don't need any equipment. You can do it in front of a mirror at home. You can do it while you're watching the game on TV. You can do it out at the field like I'm doing here. But basically the goal of this drill Drill is we throw from the ground up okay you're gonna hear that a lot from me if you watch my videos you don't throw necessarily with your arm you use your big muscles and your legs so I think it's really important number one to get some rhythm and some flow when you're throwing okay we're not robots so we need to have some rhythm and some flow uh, number two though we need to work on our ground force the harder that you're able to really push off the ground with your legs, the more energy you can drive down to the ground, the harder you're gonna be able to throw because you're gonna be more explosive, right? And it's, it's, it's ground force that we're working on in this drill. So all you're gonna do, you don't need a glove for this, you can wear one if you'd like, but all we're gonna do is we're gonna get into an athletic position and we're gonna hop from this side to this side, just like this. Now, a couple things you wanna avoid is uh, when you're hopping either way, you don't want to let your weight uh, get outside your knee, okay? We're not getting off balance like this. We're keeping our knees together and our weight is inside of our knees. Boom, just like this, okay? And you really want to explode. You can start slow until you get it, but these are hockey skates, okay? Boom, boom. And you really want to work on exploding, pushing that momentum, pushing your leg into the ground and gaining as much distance as quickly as possible uh, that you can, okay? So once again, that is skaters. Now the next drill, you're gonna need a medicine ball, okay? So this one is a 10 pound ball. They come in a variety of different uh, weights and sizes. So just pick a weight that seems right for you. Uh, you could find these pretty much at any of your local sporting goods stores. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on rotational medicine ball throws, okay? We're working on, we worked on our legs, we worked on that ground force. Now we're gonna work on our rotational force because when we're hitting, we rotate. When we throw, we do a rotational movement. So that's what we're gonna work on with this. Again, explosiveness and working on throwing this as far as possible. Now, here's the kicker. A lot of players, I'm a right-handed hitter, I'm a right-handed thrower. So, that means at practice, on game day, everything I do, I'm rotating this way. Everything I do. And a lot of players, they never, if they're a righty like myself, uh, they never turn to the left. They never rotate this way, right? And so, the best example I can think of is a washcloth. If you were to get a washcloth wet underneath water, and you were to wrinkle it and squeeze it like this, right? I'm squeezing it this way. Well, if I just continue to do that over and over and over again, and I never squeeze it the other way, there's no balance there. And that's the exact same thing you're doing with your body. You're rotating this way thousands and thousands of times throughout a season, and you're never rotating this way. So we can never truly get that balance um, that our body requires to play at your top level, okay? So if you really wanna improve your throwing velocity, then I would recommend doing medicine ball throws and doing them both directions, which I'll demonstrate now. So we're gonna get into a wide base like this, athletic position. Some players like to start with it back here and just throw. Other players like to start with it in the center of their body and back like this and then throw. That's probably my personal preference. But just make sure that you're staying low throughout the whole movement and you follow your throw, just like this. Now I'll do it the other direction. I just threw right, now I'll throw left. So again, same rhythm, same tempo, same throw. Boom. The last drill that I really like to do is reverse baseball throws. You can use a regular baseball if you really want to get crazy and carried away with it. You can use a weighted ball. You're not going to be able to use a 10 pound medicine ball obviously, but you can use some plyo balls or some weighted baseballs that are just you know slightly heavier than a regular baseball. But this is going to work on our decelerator muscles, our rotator cuff because you know our arm is only going to accelerate as fast as our rotator cuff can decelerate, right? Just like if you have a super fancy car that can go 200 miles an hour, you need to have great brakes. It's the same with your body and same with your throwing arm. So what we're gonna do, it's great if you have a partner for this, uh, so you're not chasing balls all over the place or you have something, a net or a wall or whatever, but all you're gonna do is you're gonna get down on a knee, okay? 
just like you're warming up with a partner, right? And all we're gonna do is it's a reverse throw. So we're gonna start down here and we're gonna throw, boom, just like this. Explode, start from the ground, okay? Glove tucked in and explode and throw the baseball behind us. So if you have a partner and you have a plyo ball, you can actually throw them the ball and they can throw it back to you and you can work on catching it as you go down. That's really gonna help uh, strengthen your rotator cuff. That's the preferred way that I would uh, like to see you do this drill, but I'm just gonna demonstrate one time. So again, reverse baseball throw. Start from the ground, boom, boom, throw, just like that. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video on a couple drills to help you throw harder. Like I always say, you're only gonna be able to throw harder with more velocity if you actually go out to the field and you work on this. You can't do these drills one time and expect significant results. This is not a magic pill or a magic potion. You have to put in the work if you truly wanna be successful. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. And if you've stuck around this long, then I know you're a serious baseball player. And again, these are just a couple drills that over time will help you boost your throwing velocity. But if you wanna complete throwing workout step by step where I show you how to gain 5, 10, 15 miles an hour in velocity, then what I want you to do is click on this image right here. That'll take you to my website. Don't worry if you're on a mobile device, that won't work. Just click on the very first link in the description below this video. But that'll take you to my website. All I need is your email address and I will immediately send you that free throwing workout. So hopefully uh, I'll see you over there on the site in just a second. Click on this image once again and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.